welcome everyone to another episode of Street Racer's Choice. I know it's been a while since we started, but, uh, you know, with time comes experience. Anyway, we're comparing two cars today, and, um, that reminds me, where the hell is my helper? I, mean, I think we've been waiting here for at least two hours. Anyway, I can get the... Huh? I think he was messing around with the other car so much, he got pulled over. Yeah, that is the most awkward thing ever. Good evening, officer. I swear to God, the LCP suck ass. I trust that you had a good time. Not so much. How much is the ticket? Five hundred. You're fucked. Anyway, as I was saying, we're comparing two cars today. But well, you can get back in your car if you want to listen to music or whatever. We're comparing two cars today. We're, com we're comparing the Bravado Banshee, the B12 version. This is the coupe version. Some stock, 19 inch. Uh, bravado wheels. As you see, they kind of mock the BBS RS GTs. I, I, I noticed that as I was driving. This car comes stuck with a stripe or pearl matte color. Your choice. It also has six on floor. Another option at the dealers. It has a four-speed automatic, but you know, if you want the full 510 horsepower out of your V12, I think you're going to go with the blue. Anyway. Point being, zero to six times five point two seconds. That's really fast. Now, um, if you're gonna go with like a Turismo or something of that nature, uh, an Italian supercar, something exotic, not American-made, probably want to go with that purple car over there. That purple car over there, it's the O6 Pagasi Infernus GT. Now, um, the reason you can tell this is the GT version, there's only one slight difference from the GT and the regular version. The GT and the SV1, the SV1 doesn't have a spoiler, the GT does. So if you're some prime hook that loves a steel car, then come on go for the GT version. Some stock with 612 horsepower, zero to six time is 4.3 seconds. Now, I know that sounds fast, but you're also looking at a limit slip disc and all-wheel drive. My Banshee over here does not have either one of those things. That's 510 horsepower to the rear wheel. Now, um, I, I don't know if, if you've ever driven a, a Ruiner before, as I mentioned in my last couple of videos, or last video, actually. But, um... The, the Ruiner, it doesn't quite have an LSD, and that thing spins the tires a lot. Anyway, right here, it's a choice of reasonable amount, 16 different paint jobs. It's the GT version. The GT version is just a supercharger, basically. A supercharger and racing tires. That's all you're getting back on. I mean, the body kit was born for racing. I mean, it comes with the SV1 and the GT. Um, your base price you're looking at for one of those is 560 grand. It's a lot with the new economy and all. 
However, the base price you're looking at for one of these is sixty thousand five hundred thousand dollar difference. Well, America's knockoff quite hit it with this. So there's only one way to prove it. The way we've always proved it. That's right, our test track. God, I love this car. Well, anyway, we're on a time schedule. A lot of stuff to do, little time. Anyway, first thing we're going to do with the drag race. My camera guy is going to sit down here at the end while you watch us go. Our headlights are going to indicate us being ready. You know the drill. You call M4 position, I hope. Anyway, that's pretty much it. i got to get back. See ya. Anyway, as you can see, our little four banger over here completely annihilated it. Anyway, um, third race, I think he kind of got ahead on that. He had an advantage. Remember I told you, 510 horsepower is going towards the rear wheels with no LSD? Well, if you take a look real good, this thing was swaying out of control at the start. I could hardly get traction with it. It was hydroplane like crazy. Anyway, our next thing is the tax traction. I mean, it's not a good thing that it's raining and, you know, we can get through this. But, um, the circuit race. Now, it's going to be an overhead point of view. Because my cameraman here is going to be in a helicopter, okay? And he's going to be watching the whole thing. So you get a good perspective on how these cars do. Any questions, put it in the comments. We're from the start to race. I'm excited. He's excited. Let's do this. 